Okay, so this is recklessness. And this is my favorite part of the game already. What is recklessness? We're about to find out. Recklessness is surprisingly very calculated. There's nothing uh, nothing really surprising or hectic about it. Really, the, the one where you collect car parts should have been called recklessness. Yeah, no, any time you try to score recklessness, it just becomes... this. It becomes the opposite of reckless. It, so it's the, very rule-based, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very mathematical, very calculated. Preci precision strikes, if you will. The idea behind recklessness is kind of like a Tony Hawk. We get points for performing different maneuvers, but all the maneuvers are hitting cars. We can grind against other cars and we get different points depending on where we smash them. And, uh, the mo yeah. and the most important thing is that if we slam another car into the wall, we get a wall check, which adds a point multiplier. And each time we wall check someone, the multiplier goes up. Oh, so you want to just repeatedly bump people. You want to smash them into walls as much as possible. Hmm. Uh, smashing them into walls and grinding against them is ideal because grinding makes your points go up consistently. It's kind of hard to do that with the car we have currently because it's not a good shape for grinding against other cars. Right. But grinding is the only one that you can repeat quickly? Yes. Is the, the idea? Yes. You also get a multiplier for how many kills you get. I mean, I mean, not kills, um... How many, um... Knockouts. Yeah, you get consecutively. You get, a, you get a point multiplier for that, too. So that's... Fantastic. That's my favorite game mode. But we only I get... I can see why. We only get to do it twice in the R section. That's an upsetting. Uh, even though there are four stages in the R section, Two of them are reviews, and the reviews of the destruction segment, which is the one where we collect boat parts. Yeah. So we get two stages of new content and two stages of more smashing into other cars to get boat parts. I hope that gets filtered out. Well, we get more recklessness later, but they always have review stages. Um, each, uh, each lesson also has more levels in it. So this is also recklessness, but it's also recklessness now while we um, race four laps around a track. The same rules apply as in normal recklessness. We want to get the highest score by bumping people into walls and grinding against them. But there's also a time limit, and we need to finish all four laps before the time limit runs out, which is the difference between this and normal recklessness. Alright, that look, seems pretty good, adding a complication. Yeah, um, it's actually really nice design to uh, make the player balance between uh, smashing cars and grinding against them for points and also going fast so that way they don't run out of time. It's really easy to rack up your score to over a thousand uh, on tracks like this, but the problem is that if you do that, you're probably going to run out of time. No, yeah, that makes sense. That happened That happened to me a bunch, was I got a really, really high score, but I couldn't finish all the laps in time. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's fairly balanced for its idea. I notice you ended as soon as you crossed that finish line. Yeah, it's it, it ends when it ends. It's over. So that that's recklessness. That's my favorite part of the game. We get to do more of that later, but now we have to go back to collecting car parts again. Great. Yay! That game mode that was clearly designed to be to be part of a party mode. The back of the case says it's a party game, and oh, by the way, it is rated E for mild action. 
Mild action. M very mild action. But you won't see a Zendatsu or anything. I mean, I don't know. There might be special moves. I just haven't found that out. I need you to try. I pressed all the buttons. Do you try any combos? I can't figure out how to activate blade mode. Yeah, no, uh, they hit it. You have to use the classic controller for that. Oh, that makes sense. Because there's no right stick on the, on the Wii U and Nunchuck. I mean the Wiimote and Nunchuck. So, um, all the generic fish NPCs have names like A Fish, D Fish, I Am Fish, Dr. Fishberg. I think that's pretty great. Yeah, no, that's the best. Uh, as the game goes on, they'll slowly get replaced with more notable characters, but for now they're just generic fish people. They're not important. Yeah, no, uh... Like, talking about naming conventions in, uh, Spongebob, you'll see a lot of, like, uh... Squidward Tentacles, was it? Yes. Patrick Star. It's not very complex. SpongeBob isn't very complex. And that's fine by me. So what's your what's your opinion on Seymour so far? Well, he's uh, given you a pretty high concentration of BS so far. But do you think do you think he's doing that on purpose, or is he just being dumb and crazy like everyone else in SpongeBob? Hmm. I think it's willful. See, because the first time, the first time I played this, I thought he was just being stupid and crazy because that's what people in SpongeBob do. Uh, especially, especially around this era. All right, here we go. Mm. So this this map has a pits. The pits don't factor into the gameplay yet. They will later. But if you run into a pit, then that's it. You lose. Oh, so a lost state before the time runs out. Yeah, just try not to run into the pit. I really don't like how the car parts bounce everywhere. There's no reason for that. Not in the slightest. Like, because if you hit someone in, and you make car parts come out and they go flying everywhere, then someone else gets the reward for your kill. I mean, not kill. That's not what I meant. We're not murdering people. Oh no, you're just maiming some boats. Also, sometimes the boat parts get out of the map, as you saw, and I can't get them. That's very good design. Anyway, that's it for R already. That was awesome sauce! This can't be good. That was fun, Patrick. And with all of those drive points, I'll have my license in no time. I know, it was great. Is that Sandy? We should get her to come drive with us, too. I don't know. You think they drive like that in Texas? Only in Crawford. Woo! Way! What's all the noise coming from, you folks? We're helping SpongeBob get his license. Golly, that's just about the best news I've heard all day. Hey, Sandy, do you want to help? It's only 15 clams to sign up. Well, I guess I could give it a try. SpongeBob, prepare for a long, merciless whooping! I'm with the squirrel.